you guys happy Sunday I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I wanted to talk about the samples I pulled in last week's sample Sunday series and then we're gonna talk about the new samples so we're gonna, not gonna talk about we're gonna pull new samples so anyway I've got myself confused already the first thing I want to talk about is the shampoo and conditioner I tried out this week this is the verb ghost it's like the ghost oil that you can use on your hair but this is the shampoo and conditioner I really did like this it smells really good it doesn't quite smell like the oil that I use in my hair but it does smell really good my hair I noticed when I used this my hair had a little bit of a frizz to it though for some reason my hair got a little bit more bushy than what it normally is so I'm not sure if it just because it cleansed it so well so that it took it stripped out all the oils and everything like that but it did a great job of cleansing my hair and then after I put some oil back in it it tamed the frizz back down so it's a good shampoo and conditioner would I purchase it probably not I'm really loving my purple shampoo right now which by the way guys I use a purple shampoo made by the company called Milkshake if you ever use that shampoo make sure you do not leave it in for an extended period of time I put it in my hair while I was taking a bath the other night and then I decided to just leave it in while I was shaving my legs and everything and then I was gonna shower the uh, shampoo out well my hair ended up turning almost purple so just be careful with that shampoo if you have blonde hair because it will definitely tone it down to a point where it will turn purple bluish grayish my son said my hair looks silver so it was crazy it took a little bit of time to get it out of my hair so but this is a good one anyway sorry to ramble on but this is a really good one I'm just not sure I would purchase it because I'm really loving the purple shampoo just be careful with that if you do get it the next thing is the Ulta Beauty On The Glow Cleansing Makeup Towelettes. I use these, but honestly, I don't use makeup towelettes that much. These are fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with them or anything like that. They don't leave a stinging, any kind of stinging sensation to your face or anything like that. They remove the makeup okay, but for me, I'd rather use like an oil to cleanse off my makeup and then go in with a second cleanser, kind of do like the duo cleanse. This for me just doesn't cut it for cleansing my skin anymore. Plus, I feel like these are so wasteful. Like you use these and you're trashing these. I feel like these are just, they're not that great in my opinion. I'd rather use something that's like reusable. So this is something that I will not be purchasing. The next thing is the Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment. This is amazing. Really like this. But it reminds me of Blistex for some reason. Let me find a container to it. It's in my little bowl here somewhere. It reminds me of Blistex for some reason. Where it, But it doesn't leave it such a tingling sensation whereas Blistex does leave that tingling sensation on your lips. It's just it's a very thin consistency. It comes out white and then it goes on to it comes out white and then it like clears up or whatever it like tr gets transparent so it's a really good lip product but for me I'm just like I don't really need a good lip product that's going to be better than the one that I'm using currently which is the agave lip treatment if you guys have not tried the agave lip mask guys you have to try that one that one's very thick that one's really good I really love that one then I love the Laneige lip sleeping mask that's amazing as well this is really good though so if you have this in your collection definitely try it out because it's really good the next thing is this right here. This is the Living Proof Restore Instant Repair Complete Breakage, Breakage Solution. This is like a serum that you put in your hair, but it's more like a lotion. When you, re when you use it into your hair, it comes out white. So this smells like that scent that I hate from the salon. It smells like that peppery scent, and I don't like that at all. So it leaves that scent in your hair as well. So if you're someone who you don't like that peppery scent, you're not going to like this because it definitely lingers in your hair. But I really noticed, like I said, the night that I used the Verb, made my hair very frizzy like this really helped to tone it down i don't know that it really did anything for breakage or anything like that i will continue to use this up until it's completely empty even though i hate the smell of it i'll continue to use it up and let you guys know whether i feel like my hair is breaking less because with me dyeing it blonde it does break a little bit more easily so maybe this could be a solution for it but f so far i mean i don't really notice a difference in that but it definitely smoothed my hair out so if you're looking for something to smooth your hair out and possibly help with breakage this is good my favorite for breakage is the redken anti-snap i love that one that one definitely works my hairdresser recommended that to me a long time ago i'm out of it currently i need to purchase more of it but this i'm just going to try it out and continue to use it up until it's gone so i can let you guys know whether or not it actually did help with breakage the next thing is the tan towel this is the bb gradual self tanning body perfecting cream i don't like this at all first of all it does nothing at all for my skin like i didn't notice a change in my skin whatsoever for as far as like when i tanned and i'm not great at tanners i'm not saying like i'm the perfectionist at tanning or anything like that but this just did nothing i felt like it was like okay i woke up the next day and i'm like okay i don't look any different i don't look more tan i don't look less tan i just look the same so for me, I don't think this is a good one for tanning. I know it's supposed to be a gradual one, gradual one so it's going to help to like build up. I just didn't enjoy it. Honestly, I'd rather see do something that you can kind of see results with. And this one, I just didn't see results, so I would not purchase this. 
The next thing is the Bliss. This is the Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. It smells so fruity and like summertime, like a summertime fruit drink is what it reminds me of. It's really nice. It's creamy enough to where it's going to hydrate your skin, but it's not overly creamy like the, oh my gosh, what is the one that I do not like? I don't remember. But anyway, there's one that I don't like. It's so thick that you put it on. I might have a container of it up here, maybe. Nope, I think I've moved it. Where did it go? Uh, no, I do not have it anymore. I think I've decluttered it from my collection. But there was one that I used it, and if I remember the name of it, I'll list it in the description bar for you guys. But that one is so thick, you put it on, and it takes forever to rub it into your skin. This one did not take forever to rub in my skin, and it hydrated my skin, and it smelled amazing. So for me, this is definitely a win-win-win, so I would definitely purchase this. The next thing is the Mario Badescu. This is the oil-free moisturizer with SPF 17. It didn't like suck any oils out of my skin or anything like that, so it did make my skin more dry, which is really important for me with me having dry skin. But for me, I'm like, if I'm going to purchase any kind of lotion or anything like that that's got an SPF in it, I want it to be at least 25, 30 at least, because I feel like 17, I don't know what you're really doing for your skin, and I'd rather not keep layering up things like that on my skin just to help prevent, like, whatever this is going to help prevent honestly i'd rather use something that has a higher spf into it just kind of use that and get it over with because this to me is kind of pointless so i would not purchase this if they bumped their line up towards like a 30 spf 30 then i would like it the next thing is the murad age reform invisibler perfecting shield spf 30. this comes out like almost like a um primer so here's what it looks like when it comes out it comes out like a primer it's very uh, silicone like honestly it feels very silicone like but it doesn't peel up on my skin whereas the benefit professional when I use that and it's got a lot of silicone in it when I put makeup over top of that it really peels up my makeup and it looks terrible so I cannot use that this I could totally use and it's SPF 30 so if you're looking for something that's more of a silicone feel on your skin and you need a good SPF this is a good one so I would recommend this one the next one is this right here. This is the Lime Crime Velveteens and it's in the shade Sasha. Love this lip shade. It's so gorgeous. Let me swatch it for you. It is a really beautiful shade. I love these Lime Crime lip shades. They're really, really nice on the lips. I don't feel like they're overly drying or anything like that where sometimes I feel like lip products can get really drying and they really tend to make your lips look like you have raisins for lips. These did not do that whatsoever. I really enjoy the Lime Crime lip products. I know not everybody enjoys Lime Crime, but I found some products that are really good and honestly if you purchase them at Ulta then I don't really see where there's a problem because I know they had issues with their website being like hacked and things like that. But if you're purchasing them from Ulta then I feel like maybe you're okay. So I don't know. I would purchase that. And the next thing is this right here. This is the Aqua de Joya by uh, I guess just Aqua de Joya. I have no idea. Either way, this smells really, really good. It's a very light, airy scent. I feel like it smells definitely like spring and summer. So if you're looking for a nice spring, fresh summer scent, this smells really, really good. It smells very clean and very just fresh. So if you like a, that type of scent, then you're definitely going to love the Aqua de Joya. The next one I use the entire container of. This is the Because It's You by Emporio Armani. So I love this so much that I purchased the full size because it's so good oh my gosh guys this one is a florally scent but it's like a creamy floral scent so it's a really strange in my opinion i'll show you what the full size looks like i did get the big bottle which is the 3.4 ounce i love the scent oh my gosh guys you guys know i really don't need any more perfume but i had to have this one for the big bottle it's like 89 dollars. so but it just smells so good oh my gosh it's got a very fresh, floral, creamy scent. So if you love that type of fragrance, you're going to love this. I would definitely get a little sample of it and try it out if you're into that type of scent. Works so good for me. It lasts a long time on my skin. So love, love, love that. So that is all the samples from last week. So we're moving on to pulling our new samples for this week. So I did move my baskets around a little bit because my hair care sample basket was kind of exploding. So I moved that into a different basket. You'll see that here shortly. So I'm going to start with the skincare. This is the one for your face. We pulled three out of this basket. So let's go ahead and start. The first one is... Ooh, we have the uh, Philosophy. This is the Ultimate Miracle Worker Eye. It's a multi-rejuvenating eye cream with SPF 15. So that looks like an awesome product to try out. I'm excited about trying this out. I'll show you guys how big the container is. But for an eye cream, honestly, that's a really decent size. And so if this is a good one, this one could last for a while because eye cream, you don't need that much of it. So we'll have to try that out. The next thing is... 
Ooh, what do we have here? We have a Pure Get A Lift Foaming Facial Cream. Ooh, I haven't tried too many things from Pure Cosmetics. Have you guys tried too much from their line? I think I had an oil before. It was like a yellow oil, and I don't remember what. I don't remember what it was, but it was evidently not that great. So, the next thing is. Murad. This is the Rapid Collagen Infusion. Something else from Murad. So you guys know I really do love the Murad line. I like that little primer that we just used. It's not really primer. It was like a SPF. I really like that. And then I use a cleanser from them already that I love. So we'll have to try this out. It's collagen. So I know I could definitely stand for some collagen now that I'm 40. So I'm going to set this basket over here. And then I'm going to pull the next basket. The next one is... This is body care. So I moved the body care into this basket. I had to look because I've moved things around a little bit. So the first thing out of here is something squishy. We have a Daily Concepts Exfoliating Body Scrubber with smart technology. It says it's clinically an allergy dermatolo dermatologist tested. So it's just a body scrub, so we'll have to test that out and see if it's any good. So it's perfect for travel and for all skin types. It gives you a mild exfoliation. So that'll be good if we get any self tanners this week, which I don't know if we will or not, but we'll see. The next thing is, oh, we have something else from Bliss. This is the Bliss Lemon Plus Sage Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. I love the scent of lemon. I love lemons, actually, this year. I got a couple clothing pieces this year that had lemons on them, and I really did enjoy the way that they, not really enjoy, I really like the way that they look. So I'm excited to try this out because I'm a lemon fan. The next basket is our makeup basket. So I'm going to pull two out of this basket. I'm going to dig down in here and grab, mm, what do we got? We have something from Sephora. This is the F Sephora Collection Beauty Uncomplicated Rouge Lipsticks. So it says three finishes, a matte cream, or a matte, a cream, and a brilliant shine. So here are what the samples look like. So I'm excited about trying these out because I know the Sephora brand is kind of underrated. Not many people talk about that brand, so we'll see if they're any good. The next one is, what do we have? Ooh, we have something from Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. I know I've tried a primer from them before, but I don't remember which one it was. So this is one looks like this. I think they all come in a gray container, don't they? No, I've seen a gray one. So no, I'm wrong. That is not right. Okay, now we're moving on to the hair care basket. So I moved the hair, hair, hair care basket into this giant one because I seem to get a lot of hair care samples. So I feel like this one's going to definitely be sufficient. So the first one is... This is the Kenra Volume Spray. So this is says Super Hold Finishing Spray. We've tried a Kenra spray recently, but it was different than a volume spray, I'm pretty sure. So we'll try that one out. The next one is, ooh, this is the Eva NYC Clean It Up Shampoo. So it says it has carafis, protein, and argan oil. Gently cleanses, restores, and nourishes for all hair types. So that's a nice product to try out because Eva, is it Eva or Eva? I have no idea how to pronounce it. I always say Eva. So I think Eva NYC is more of like a not super expensive brand. So if it's good, then that might be something that I can look into getting to purchase. So now we're going to move into our giveaway for the week. So that, actually, no, we're not. We didn't pull per, we did not pull perfume. So, whoa, I'm about to drop all the baskets. Oh my gosh. You guys have seen that disaster before, right? So let me grab this container here is way in the back oh my gosh I almost dropped that and there's a mirror right there so that would have been like seven years bad luck so uh what do we have here oh we have aqua de joya again so we're gonna throw that into the bag for this week whoever it's not gonna count as your sample it's just a little extra then we have what in the world does that say it says cozy cotton cozy cotton I don't even see a brand on here so that one's kind of confusing so if I like it I'm gonna be SOL I'm trying to figure out who, who to purchase it from. The next one is Boucharon Palace Vendeme. Yeah. Okay, that was completely butchered. So if you want to know what this is actually called, definitely check out the description box because I have no idea what that says. I can't speak very well with different languages. I tried taking Spanish when I was in high school and honestly, I was not that good at it. I wish I could learn another language. My son speaks Spanish and he does it really well. So I wish I could learn a different language, but this is something that I don't know if I've ever tried before. I know I've never tried because that name just definitely does not ring a bell. Oh, it's very strong. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to maybe let that one lay down a little bit because that one's kind of strong. Now for the giveaway for last week, for this past week's giveaway. The giveaway winner is, where's my phone? Oh my gosh, guys, I am like not with it today. The giveaway winner is, 
Okay, it's Auntie D. Ramey. So Auntie D, you can email me and I will mail this goodie package out for you. This is your giveaway goodie bag for this week. So I hope you guys enjoy this, or I hope you enjoy this. So send me an email with your mailing address and then I will mail that out for you. Now we're gonna start with the samples for this week. So the bag I'm gonna be using is this one right here. This is a Moroccan oil bag. It says love is in the hair, so that's cute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw in that extra perfume sample that I know I'd already tried. Well, we just tried it last week actually, so we definitely know we already tried it. So let me pull out some of the stuff I have on top, which is just empty bags. Okay, so now we've got the basket here and I've added more to this basket. This basket's getting really full because there's a lot of products in here that I've already tried that I want you guys to try. So the first thing I'm gonna pull, we're gonna pull eight items. So the first thing I'm gonna pull is another one of these actually. So we're gonna give you another one of these little goodie bags. This is one of the ones that we gave away last week and this is just gonna count as two samples as well. So we're gonna pull six more. So the next thing is, mm, what do we got here? I'm trying to dig around to find something good for you guys. Ooh, what is, oh, that's a bag. <laughs> that was just an empty bag. Okay, now the first thing is the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. This is the cleansing oil. So this one here, what you do with it is you're going to put this on your lashes after when you're trying to remove your mascara and it helps to remove your mascara a little bit easier. So that's the first sample or the second, third sample. There we go, technically. The next sample is the Professional by Benefit. This is the one that does not work for my dry skin, but it does work for a lot of other people I've heard. So there's four. And the next one is Amazing Grace by Philosophy. This is an excellent lotion. If you guys have ever, if you've never tried Amazing Grace from Philosophy, I think you're going to love this. It's a very light fragrance uh, lotion and it definitely gives you some hydration. So that is a really, it's one of my favorite scents, honestly, Amazing Grace. The next thing is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for, for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. So there's that little sample. So that makes two, four, six, two more. The next thing is oh, digging down in here and finding some goodies. What do we have? Oh, we have something from First Aid Beauty. This is the oil-free mattifying gel. It's supposed to hydrate. Wait a minute. An oil-free mattifying gel that hydrates controls oil and minimizes pores. That's a little bit confusing. So there's that product. One more. I'm gonna reach over to the other side. So we can grab something over here. What do we got? Oh, something big. We have the Living Proof Nourishing Oil. So this will be the oil that I've tried recently. So you, whoever wins this can try this oil out to see if you enjoy it. So that is all the samples that are gonna be in this week's giveaway. And I will put them all in the Moroccan oil bag, which I've just put here. Couldn't figure out where I put it. So I'm going to put all your prizes in this goodie bag here. And then all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave me any comment. It doesn't matter what this comment says. Just make sure it says hashtag sample Sunday. As long as you do that, then I will, you will be entered. And also let me know what samples you've tried this week. Were they good? Were they bad? And then also, if you've tried anything that I'm going to be trying this week, it, give me any kind of tips or recommendations. Any tips you guys can have can always help me out. I know you guys are so helpful with your information. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.